Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a new technique in how to use your framelits to make different shaped cards. So today I'm going to share the thankful for you card because Thanksgiving is first and then um, you just open it like this. You can either put a piece of Whisper White in here, you can write in black or a dark brown or just stamp your sentiment inside, whichever you prefer. I just left it blank so I could write a note in it, but look how cute he is. That little pumpkin's just adorable. I love him. And then I went ahead and did a Christmas bulb so that you can see that you can do this with the circle framelits as well. And this, these are so, so easy to put together. If you want a tutorial on this one, I could probably do one and um, put it up for you. Um, but it's done the same way this one is. This one's a little bit simpler because I'm just using a larger um, scallop circle and the um, designer series paper. And then I used the little sentiment that is from the... Um, it's this Tags and Tidings is what um, the sentiment's from. And I actually stamped them all with my Stamparatus all at one time because it is one single sheet. And then the framelits that goes with this will cut them all out at the same time. So you can see it's just one sheet. You can do only one tag if you want at a time. But um, I just thought doing the bags and boxes that I do so much of and these little cards it would be perfect so I have a bunch of little tags here from that and they're all ready to go and I just used that one from here for this little Christmas bulb but it's so fun to do these you can do whatever colors you want um, it's really a cute little stamp set I love it alright so we are going to go ahead and get started on our little pumpkin card and what you're going to need for this is I just cut a 4x4 four four, so it's 4x8 and then I scored it in half at 4. You could probably get away with making this a little bit smaller because this is an oval so it doesn't take up the whole um, card and we're going to do a lot of big shotting in this um, one. Then you're going to need a scrap of early espresso and then some scrap of, I have old olive and shaded spruce for our leaves and then um, we are going to run it through to emboss. You need an extra piece of um, pumpkin pie for your little fronts of your pumpkin. Okay, so the stamp sets I'm using for this one is the Many Blessings, and I'm just using this Thankful For You. I am not stamping the every day, I'm just stamping the Thankful For You on this one. And then you are going to need I think that's it. I was going to use my thoughtful banners. I didn't use this one. Okay, so let's get started with this. So I got to bring the big shot up right away. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut out. Now I'm using my regular platform because when I emboss, I need to take this one out. So it was just easier instead of using my magnetic just to use my regular um, plate here. So for this, you are going to need your layering ovals. You're going to need these right here, and I'm using the largest oval that we have, not the scallop, but the regular largest oval. And then for the, um, the uh, part of the pumpkin, you need this one right here, and this one is it's three inches so this is the three inch scalloped oval so we're going to need both of those for this and then you're going to also need the smallest little square hair that's just for you can even just I mean I you don't even have to use this you can just cut out a square with it by hand but this is going to be our pumpkin stem and then you're going to need the Seasonal layers. I told you this is an amazing set. You've probably seen me use it like crazy. I've used it last year like crazy and I'm using it again this year. I, it's just an amazing framelit set. So I'm using the little leaf for this one. Alright, so that is it I think. So let's get going here with this. 
So you are going to need a piece of sticky note or something to hold this down because we've already folded it. What you're going to do is you're just going to line it up on here. You are going to leave a gap there. That is meant to be. And that's how your card is going to open. So you're just going to leave a little bit of a gap there. Put your other plate on top. And then we're going to run this through and you're going to have your base for your card. And like I said, you probably don't even need it 4x4. Four four. You could probably end up doing it. Let me measure this really quickly and see where we're at as far as having left over. So you have about an inch and a half left over, so you can actually you could actually do a 3x4 and you, you'd have enough room. All right, so now we have our card base right here so it opens like that so you see how easy that is to create the um, card and then let's go ahead and cut out our little pieces that we need here I'm going to cut out this little dark brown and I'm gonna just go ahead and run one of the leaves through at the same time so we don't have to, we're just going to cut all our pieces out and get it all ready. Okay, so we'll have one leaf, oops, we're going to have one leaf there. Then we're going to have our little um, top of the pumpkin. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this one through here. And I think we are going to, let me see if I have a little piece. Yeah, let's go ahead and I'm going to cut this so I can fit one scallop on here. Scalloped oval because we're going to have to run three of those through. So we'll see if we can make this a little bit quicker. We have all three ready to go now. Now I'm going to use my swirls and curls embossing folder and this is this one right here. I love it. It's new in the holiday catalog. We need to take off this pla place, uh, platform and then just use the regular one. We are going to stick all three of these in the top here. Make sure they're all going the same way. And this Stampin' Up! symbol is up at the top. And then I need my plate. And we're going to run this through. And then I believe we have everything except for our sentiment cut out, which we will stamp that first and then run it through. But look how pretty these are. Look at the texture on these. Isn't that pretty? So we have all three of those. And then we'll just bring this up one more time when we have to cut our little sentiment out. Okay, so we have our little pumpkin base. We have our three little pieces for our pumpkin. Our pumpkin top and our two little leaves. First thing we're going to do is put our little pumpkin top on here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the wet glue. The wet glue, you have time to move these around. So I really, really like that we can arrange our little pieces here and we have time to just move, move the pieces if we need to. So we're going to put some wet glue on here. You're going to put the two sides on first. You kind of want to lean them a little bit. And then we're going to put him in the middle. So it's going to be just like that. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness, this pumpkin's so adorable. Alright, so now we're ready to put our leaves on. 
and again I'm going to just use wet glue starting to run low on this I'm going to put one there and then I'm going to layer the other one on top you can see how quick these can go together and then I am going to use some linen thread my favorite to use this time of year too it's very rustic and I'm gonna make a double bow and then just make it the size that you like it to be I'm making this one quite small Uh, let's pull my other one out here. Let me grab that. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to use a glue dot for this. And we're going to put that right there. I need to cut that or it. There we go. Okay, be careful you don't glue it, glue your thing down. <laughs> I got a little bit too much glue right there on the end. Okay, and then we're going to do our sentiment. I'm going to again grab a piece of sticky note. If you haven't seen this before, um, you can block out different words by using a sticky note. And I'm just covering up the everyday on this one. And I'm going to use early espresso and a little piece of whisper white. I'm just going to use the same scrap that I used before. And then you are going to, oops, I got that a little bit too tall, too high. And you're going to just ink up that top part pull off your um, piece of sticky note and then you're gonna stamp it and I didn't get the bottom of that I had it a little bit too high let's do it one more time I could tell I did but I thought I could get away with it but <laughs> you have to be really okay there we go all right, so let me do it over on this side now. Whoops, <laughs> pull that off or you're going to have a big mess. There you go. Perfecto. All right, so then I am going to use, cut this out a little bit to make it a little bit simpler. And we're going to send that through the big shop with our our uh, stitch shapes and I'm going to use the little littlest circle that we have on the circles the stitched shapes here all right let's grab the big shot one more time move our little cute pumpkin out of the way and we'll cut that out I almost put it too low I think it's just going to make it could have stamped this first but so there's the little tag and I am just going to put some fast fuse on the back you can use snail or I like the fast fuse or use your wet glue um, because this is embossed and it is harder to stick there and we're just gonna put that on the side here you just kind of scoot it up a little bit there we go all right so there you have it aren't they cute they're so such a cute little card and then you know just write your sentiment or stamp your sentiment on the inside make a four by four um car envelope with your envelope punch board and you're ready to go 
And then also the little ornament one is super cute too. So I used um, our silver foil on this and then our silver edged ribbon, whisper white ribbon for this one. But if you want to see this one, I can definitely do a tutorial on it. All right, everyone, if you need any supplies, you can shop at my blog at stampingwiththemoray.com. And here's my hostess code for the month of September, which is coming to an end. And then if you haven't signed up for my newsletter to get the 12 weeks of Christmas, um, they're all 3D projects that I'm sharing. Um, you can go to my blog, and it is on the right-hand side where it says subscribe to my newsletter and then you will be getting a project each week in your mailbox so i hope you all have a blessed day and i'll catch you in the next one everyone see you later bye